If a person was just starting to read their Bible, I'd probably tell them that the first book they should read is the Gospel of John. See, John writes at like a, a first grade level. He uses very simple words like word and water and life and light, very simple terminology. And yet, if there was one book of the Bible that you could meditate on for the rest of your life because it's so deep, it would also be the book of John. See, here's the challenge of John's gospel. When John was writing, he was writing a theological biography of Jesus. He knew that Matthew, Mark, and Luke had already written historical bi biographies of Jesus. They were very focused on the history and the dates and the timeline. But John, when he wrote his gospel later on, he really wanted people to understand the theology. That's why he said at the end of his gospel, these things are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and by believing, have life in his name. Now, the way, Jesus, or the way John talked about theology, it's usually through dialogue. And so you have this story of Nicodemus, a religious leader, coming to speak to Jesus. And Jesus says this strange phrase. He says, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they're born again. Uh, flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. And no one can see God unless they're born of water and the spirit. Now, Nicodemus hears this and he's confused. And maybe we are too. But what John wants us to do is he wants us to meditate on this and think about this and think theologically, think deeply, that what John is talking about is conversion. How we're born naturally as sinful people and now we need to be born again through faith and through baptism. Something similar happens in a dialogue between Jesus and the Samaritan woman at the well. Uh, this woman is drying up water and Jesus says to her, I have water to give you that that if you get this water, you'll never grow thirsty again. In fact, this water will well up to you to be like a living water, a spring of water inside of you. She's confused at what Jesus is saying, and maybe we are too. But John is writing a theologically deep book. He wants us to think about this. And after we think about it for a while, we'll see that Jesus is talking about the work of the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit satisfies our deepest longings. See, John wants us to think deeply about uh, theology, uh, deeply about spiritual matters, even when he uses simple terms. And so here's my challenge for you. Read this simple yet profoundly deep theological book, receiving it for what it really is, not necessarily a focus on history, but a focus on theology. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for your wisdom in giving us the book of John. Lead us to, to have an open mind and an open heart to believe and understand all of these rich theological ideas and terms that you want to share with us. In your name we pray, amen. Did you enjoy this video? Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube so you don't miss a single message. Click right here.